Assalamualaikum guys, Ifan back again with another video and in this video what we'll do is we'll look at how we can create dynamic list boxes in Excel. Now what we mean by dynamic uh, list boxes that what, that what we mean by that is the contents that show in a list box that needs to be able to be changed on the fly. Okay, they need to be dynamic. They, they, the, the contents, the options that you can select in a list box would not be fixed. It would, it would, it would, it would, it would dynamically change depending on what you have done above or bef before that, before you come to that uh, list box. So let's get started. So what? let's uh, assume what we are going to be doing is uh, we have a company and uh, the company uh, looks at its uh, sales figures quarter wise and then each quarter is divided into three months each so uh, we have the oops sorry uh, the first quarter we have the second quarter we have the third quarter and we have the fourth quarter okay now uh, within each of these uh, quarters we have months we have Jan january february march in the first quarter april may june as second july august september as the third quarter and uh, uh, october november december as your uh, fourth quarter okay let me just uh, turn my phone uh, ring it off so it doesn't keep ringing on us Hang on a second. Okay, there you go. Now, let's uh, also create a list of the months. So we have January, we have February, and I'll just highlight these two and move my mouse to the edge here where it turns into a cross here. If I drag it down, it's Excel is smart enough to realize what I'm doing and just puts in the month names, name of the months, okay? So I stop here at December. All right, now, what I'm going to do is, uh, I have a list box here and I have a combo box here. And depending on which uh, uh, order I select uh, in this uh, combo box up here, the list box should auto populate with months of for that particular quarter only. Okay. So uh, let's just wrap the quarters in front here. Uh, so January, February, March is the first quarter and I'm just copying and pasting April, May and June paste. I'll copy third from here and these three months will be the third quarter and fourth quarter would get pasted October, November, December. All right now let's first go ahead and create a cover box up here uh, and the way we do that is Make sure you have the developer tab showing up. If you don't, just go into uh, you know, file options and uh, customize ribbon and make sure this developer tab is checked here. Okay. Now, go to the developer, insert, and we are doing a, a form control, a sprint button. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and insert it over here. All right, and what we'll do is we go into you, you do a right click and go into form control. Okay, hang on a second. I'm sorry, I uh, selected the wrong one. I, I needed the, the the combo box. Okay. Now what we do is we go into form control and you see this input range that's where you're giving it the options what will show up here okay so these are the options that will show up for the for the combo box and the link cell link tells you uh, you know you use that to tell Excel where to put the, the, the option that gets selected here where to put the option number so we'll just go ahead and put the option, uh, the, the value right here. Click on OK. All right. Now, if you pull this down, it you know, shows you the first, second, third, and fourth quarter. Okay. Now, if you were to select the second quarter, 
two should show up because that's the second option okay if i select uh, quarter three uh, three should show up because that's the third option if i select uh, uh, first quarter that should show one because that is your first option all right now we've got that done now we figure out which option of these uh, four quarters that we are using okay now uh, based on that i'm just gonna make it a little bigger so it's easier to read we also need to figure out uh, we've got the value here the option value now over in the next cell here what we'll do is we'll get, grab the full name of the quarter here okay so if it's the third quarter in this cell we should read third quarter okay the way we would do that is we'll use the index command okay returns a value or reference of a cell at the intersection of a particular row or column in a given range okay so what's the array this is the array that we are looking at what is the row number that's number three because that when we selected third quarter gave you three right here so that gave you the third row so we'll select this and column uh, we uh, you know we just need the one column and there you have it okay so if I were to select first quarter here this would turn to one and this would show first quarter okay similarly if I do fourth quarter this shows four and fourth quarter okay now what I need to do is in order to know where the quarter starts I need to grab the the row number from here and the way I would do that is I would use the match band okay what am I looking for I'm looking for this value in this array here okay so we selected a quarter in the copper box the cover box gave us the, the option number, the, the row number. And based on that row number, we, you know, reverse engineered the quarter number. Now, we've got that quarter number. Now, what we, we've, we've got these quarters pasted here. So, January, February, March is first. April, May, June is second quarter. July, August, September is third quarter. October, November, December is fourth quarter. Now, what we need to do is figure out where this starts. Okay, now, so if you've got the lookup value, we have got the lookup array. And now, because we want, uh, this is X to make the we, we go with an exact match. Okay, and you close parenthesis, hit OK, enter, it gives you 10. Okay, so row number 10 is where the fourth quarter starts. All right, now. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to use the offset command. With the offset command, what you do is you can create an array of cells, or a single cell, or an array of cells. Okay, so we'll use the offset command to create an array of three cells. Okay, three uh, vertical rows of one cell wide. So this is number ten. So row number ten is right here. Okay. So this is row number one. Let me, in fact, let's put numbers here. And I'll just double click on this. And we'll, uh, what I'll do is I've only added one and two. And when I highlight them like this and move my mouse pointed to the edge here, how it turns into a crosshair, I take it there and double click. It will autofill all the way down to the last cell. Okay. So row number 10 is October. Okay. So if it was uh, second quarter, this would be two, this would be second quarter, and uh, second quarter starts here. Okay. So it gives you the fourth. Okay. Now, like I said, what we'll do is we will use the offset command to 
like if if we are using uh, if you selected second quarter so second quarter would be right here okay so what we ought to do is we want to create a cell a, a array of these three cells and we'll use an offset command to do that so let's just type it here offset okay now preface is where you are starting off you're starting from here Habi rose down, are you gonna move? One, two, three. But this is four. So what you're gonna do is you take this and you minus one. In columns, how many columns across you're moving? You're not moving any columns across. What is the height? Height is three. Width is one. Don't worry if it gives you an error. Okay. Now what we'll do is we will use this offset command and we will go to formulas, name manager, and we create a name range. And that's the value. And we'll just call it uh, month reference. We hit OK and close. Okay. Now, over here, what we'll do is we will create the list box. It doesn't need to be that big. There you go. Right click. And here, what we'll do is we'll put in the month of reference. And cell link where it is going to give you the output. Let's just put this cell here. Click on What did we name it? Hang on a second. But the first. Okay, I know what happened. What we need to do is we need to lock these cells. We go into cell reference and just go paste over this. Okay. Is equal to but reference. And it's giving me the value here. There you go. Okay. So when you select the first quarter. The option that you get is January, February, March. You select the second quarter. Option you get is April, May, June. Third quarter, July, August, September. And fourth quarter is October, November, December. Oh, by the way, let me just explain why it gave us an error here. That was because when you're pasting uh, in this, uh, in this, in the, na in the name uh, manager, always lock those cells. Because if you don't, the references are going to change. It's going to give you an error. Okay, that was that is what happened. Uh, let's just make it a little smaller. We don't need it to be this big. There you go. Okay. Now, when you go to first quarter, uh, it gives you ten me very much. Now, within this uh, list box. When you select any option, say for example January, it should give you one here. February is two, March is three. Now, mind you, this does not mean the third month. It just means the third option. Okay. Similarly, when you go into second quarter, April is the first option, May is the second option, June is the third option. Okay. So that's how you basically create dynamic list boxes and dynamic combo boxes. Okay. So, uh, what we learned in this uh, quick uh, video, we learned how to create a combo box. We learned how to have the combo box give out its, uh, you know, the value, which option is selected. Based on that value, using the index command, we can reverse engineer the quarter number, quarter name, okay? 
Based on that, using the match command, we figure out which row that quarter starts from. And based on that, what we did was you, you, we used an offset command uh, to create an array of three uh, cells, okay, three vertical cells based on which quarter was selected. And we used that offset command, put it into a, a name, uh, in the name manager, created the named range, and then use that name range when setting up the list box. And there you have it. That's how you would create a dynamic list box. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you.